tonight on Border Security. You get a little bit nervous, now your hands are going like that. A passenger whose nervous behaviour has everyone on edge. I don't know if I'm making him nervous, but something is. Come and have a look at this. An enormous expanse where every nook and cranny is a possible hiding place. Sparring heavily yeah, on oh, been poisoned. And that startling comment has officers concerned that this passenger's life might be in danger. Sydney Airport, customs are running an operation on a flight from Vietnam. And this passenger's recent excursions in and out of the country has caught their attention. Uh, the gentleman's arrived today from Vietnam. I've asked him if he's been in trouble uh, at all with any law enforcement, and he said no. A whole lot of paperwork here. I'm just going to go and have a quick read. A lot of this is uh, money. He's been sending money to somebody, so I want to see how much uh, money he's been sending and who he's been sending it to. What is this? The engagement at the weekly marriage. Now they broke up. Oh, divorce papers. Yeah. Divorce. Yeah. So you have been married before. Why do you have divorce papers? This girl's no good. I asked you before if you've been married in the past. Very long. Long. For money. I hope my friend. Yeah, but I asked you in the past yeah. before have you been married. This was five years ago. Yeah, I've just noticed these. Um, He's got a receipt in here that he's actually borrowed money to go on the trip. So he's been twice, he's actually been three times about the last nine months. Uh, he's actually borrowed money to go on this trip. So I'm going to go and ask him why he's borrowed money and uh, how he's going to pay it back. Okay. How did you pay for your trip to Vietnam? I borrowed my brother money. You, you borrowed money? Yeah. Who from? My brother. Where's your brother work? Work with me. Okay. Why, why did you borrow the money? Why go on holidays when you have no money? You're shaking your legs at the moment. Mackay, central Queensland coast. The third busiest shipping port in Australia. An area the size of a city to be monitored and searched every day. Shipping poses potentially the biggest threat to the security of Australia's borders. And the only way to police these ships effectively is by Here air. In the Mackay area, due to the mining boom, so many ships are coming to pick up coal. Uh, we can have up to uh, 60 ships waiting out at the anchorage. That's up to 12 kilometres off the coast, and uh, those ships can be sitting there anything up to a month. So uh, we go out by helicopter, board those ships out at the anchorage area, uh, and uh, it gives us a good chance to see what's going on, do the customs, immigration, and other formalities well before they get to the port. Now the off Customs helicopter, sir, could you please confirm hatch five is all clear for the helicopter's landing? Yes, sir, uh, confirm uh, hatch five is uh, ready for landing. This crack team of specially trained customs officers board as many ships as they can in as short a time as possible. And officers never know what they're going to find. Passengers arriving at Australia's international airports are stopped by customs for a variety of reasons. Inconsistencies in travel documents, odd travel movements, and even indications of nervous behaviour. Sometimes the signs are subtle, often they are not. I went to the airport with, with about four uh, suitcases like this, with two. And they didn't let me to get in. They said it's too heavy. Right. So my mother came and, you know, he organized everything. Today, this passenger's confused manner has aroused concerns. And then, uh, yes, okay. I'm just. The man's profuse sweating could indicate he's hiding something. So the officer decides to question him about this problem but he's certainly not prepared for the passenger's bizarre answer. It's just that, um, to look at your moment, you're perspiring heavily yeah, on that. I've been poisoned. Oh, you're very good. Morning. Morning, Captain. Good. Australia Morning. Customs. Welcome yeah. to Australia. A massive cargo ship off the coast of Queensland. Although this ship looks clean and ordered, it's recently been in some high-risk ports and it's vital that Customs does thorough checks of both the ship as well as its crew. Attention all hands, attention all hands, please proceed to crew mess hall. 
for passport sim as book verification Just like any other travellers arriving in Australia, all crew on all ships must go through face-to-passport checks. OK, so when did you join this ship? It's August 27. August 27. And how long have you worked on ships? Uh, 12 years. Yeah, good cooking? Yes, very nice. The crew is happy? Yes, he's happy. <laughs> they look like a healthy. Yeah. <laughs> Captain, I notice it's only your second time to Australia. Yes, right. And what is your next port? Uh, Japan. Japan? Yes. And after Japan, back to Australia again? We're waiting for order from our next charter. Oh, OK. You're a tramp ship then? That's right, sir. Tramp ships pose a higher risk to customs than other ships because of their irregular charters and erratic travel movements. So this enormous cargo vessel has to be thoroughly checked and cleared. And on ships this size, the number of potential hiding places is extraordinary. Trudy, come and have a look at this. Customs officers Mark and David are trying to work out how this passenger has travelled to Vietnam three times in nine months with very little money. When you planned your trip, when you borrowed the money off your brother, how long were you planning your trip? Two months before, three months? A week? No, I go work with her, with him. He pay for me, I say how much I, I owe you. He say, oh, two thousand. Like before you went in May? In May. You, oh. went, you went away? Yeah. When did you decide to go? Oh, I told her to her. You're shaking your legs at the moment. Is that any reason you're a little bit nervous? Or, no, don't pull your trousers up. I said you're shaking your legs. Are you getting nervous or? No. Do you, how much money do you earn a week? One thousand. Thousand dollars a week, because you owe your brother, or you owe somebody, eleven, twelve hundred dollars. Yeah. You owe somebody two thousand dollars. No, borrow my brother two thousand. Now you borrowed another two thousand off your brother. Yeah. So you owe him three thousand dollars. Four thousand. You owe him four thousand now. Yeah. Okay. You won't pay that off in a week. Five months. You, five months. He's given you to pay it off, has he? Yeah. Okay. Right. Customs officers are suspicious the man may be up to something. Did you swallow some drugs to bring over here today to pay these debts off? Are you carrying drugs on your body? No, one check. We will. Customs officers searching a coal ship for any signs of illegal trade or activity have just discovered enormous cavities which could make their job a lot harder. Tell me, um, are all the cabins the same? Do you have that space behind uh, every bathroom? Uh, yeah, most of them. Okay. Most of them. Vessels travelling near the coast of Australia could potentially be dropping illicit cargo for pickup by well organised crime syndicates. To deter this, customs monitor the movement of all ships within Australian waters. One of the things we do is uh, have a look at all the documents uh, on a ship's bridge. So in terms of finding out about illegal or illicit activity, um, there's so many, so many documents and that at our disposal to be able to cross-reference, to look for any anomalies in their voyage, if they've changed speed, if they've stopped, and then you start asking further questions about reasons. Customs are questioning a passenger who's told the officer that the reason for his confused state and sweaty appearance is because he's been poisoned. Yeah, I've been poisoned. Poisoned? Poison in, in, in air. In, what do you call? Uh, yeah, I've been overcoming in Malaysia in airline. In the aircraft? Airbus. Yeah. Yeah. I've been maybe poisoned, I was vomiting. Customs is concerned that the man's extreme discomfort could be a sign of an internal drug concealment rupturing and that the man's life could be in danger. Give me an x-ray on that bag so I can clear and get quarantine in and out of here so they're out of place and frisk straight up. Officers need to act fast to find some answers. Currently a supervisor on to you. Yep. So you know that we have some concerns 
your body at the moment. Mm -hmm. Now what we'd like to do is formally detain you for the purposes of a frisk search, which is... What's that? It's basically, it's a search of the body, mm -hmm. but only on the clothing. At no time do mm -hmm. we touch skin, mm -hmm. and at no time are you required to remove any clothing. Mm -hmm. Okay? All right. Now, Jada, just before we start, you have some rights that you need to read. The thing that intrigues me is that he's had five or more weeks in Iran. Of course, his father lives in Tehran, so that's fine, but... If you're self-employed five weeks in business that you want to be running well, but first I'm looking at, depending on how well the business is running, do you also organise a run that just pop things up cash-wise? Oh, how long is it going to take? How long is it going to take? For the search? Yeah. Only in, no more than a minute. Okay. At Sydney Airport, quarantine officers have spotted something suspect in the bag of a passenger just arrived from Hong Kong. And on the screen here we can see a lot of organic matter that looks like some food items, so um, we're going to have a look at it today and see what's in there. This man is in transit in Australia for just two days before he returns home to Tahiti. On his landing card he claimed he had nothing to declare. Did you read all the questions on the card? Uh, well, uh, roughly, you know. OK. Did you understand them all? What's that? Did you understand the questions? Yeah, OK. OK, Go these ahead. are your bags here? Yeah, one, two. Uh, yeah. What's inside here? This is a dry medicine for Tahiti, you know. I mean, is this like a traditional soup mix, sir? It's all dry, right? Yeah. So what do you do with this, sir? Oh, I boil it. You boil it? Yeah. Do you eat it, sir? Yeah. He's brought with him dozens of packets of traditional medicines and what appears to be soup. It's made entirely of dried plants and herbs. Just wondering, question six, sir, where it says, any food, yeah. including dried, fresh, preserved, cooked or uncooked. Yeah. Okay, why well, you said no, there was no food in the bag. Oh. <laughs> but for quarantine officer Denise, this is no laughing matter. His false declaration could land him in serious trouble. Question seven. You were going to be away for a... Over at Sydney Airport, a passenger with a very inconsistent story about his travel movements is being questioned by customs. Um, he's getting a little bit nervous now. His legs started to shake over there. And... I, and um, I, I, I noticed that, and since I've actually walked away, his legs aren't shaking at the moment, so maybe, I, I don't know if I'm making him nervous, but something is, so we'll go and have another chat to him. I think Judy was calling you, I tried to call her back. Oh, OK. I'll go on them. Um, they're all fine? That's, they're all fine. Quarantine's You're getting a little bit nervous. Now your hands are going like that. Are you, are you nervous? Do you, do you, you sure you don't have any drugs on your body? No. This phone number here, who's this lady? Oh, my sister. She's your sister? Yeah. Do you have another sister? Yeah, the young one. The young one. OK, what do they do for work? I don't know. Long time little thing. She get married already. Where does she live now? I don't know. Sometimes she calls me, sometimes you I You do not know where your sister lives? Yeah. Does she live in Australia or does she live in Vietnam? She lives in Australia. OK. What we might do, I'm going to detain you for the purpose of a free search, OK? In customs, officers are about to conduct okay. a frisk search of this passenger. You want to do it here, do you? Yeah. Okay. His stories are inconsistent at the moment. Um, limited clothing. He's borrowed money. He originally told me a thousand, then two thousand, three thousand. Now he's borrowed four thousand. So he's inconsistent with how much he's even borrowed. Um, it's probably a lot more than that. We're going to ram up this stuff. The frisk found nothing, but that doesn't discount an internal concealment. It was his stomach hard, was it? Sorry? Was yeah, a little bit bloated, sort of protruding, but um, nothing found in the body. But he was uh, really willing to take his shoes off and that sort of thing, so that suggests he probably doesn't have any his body at all. So. Okay. Customs will step up their investigation and move the man to a customs okay. interview room and conduct a full search. That room over there, and I'll be in there in a minute. OK, what I'm going to give now, I'm going to give another card to read. Um, 
which we want to upgrade the original search to removal of his clothes. We, we, we think he may have something under his armpits or, or in his groin area, so we'll, we'll get a better look there. Um, he doesn't have to do that. If he doesn't do that, we've then got to go to uh, a magistrate um, and, and give him why we want to do it, and then we go from there. I want to make sure you have nothing un in your armpits, under your armpits, or in your underwear. So I'm going to give you another card to read in Vietnamese language again. What it involves is the removal of your clothes. Do you consent to do it? Yep. Okay, what we'll do, I'll leave the room. These two officers here will do it. Okay. Over in quarantine, a man has arrived from Hong Kong with bags full of undeclared food and traditional medicines. When we see your card says no, you don't have anything, you haven't brought anything in, but we can see that there is something in the x-ray that lives of concern. We need for you to actually say, yes, there is food, or yes, there is traditional medicine. Can you check to yeah. see if what's in there? And lilium bulb and things yeah. like that? Yeah. No worries. Traditional medicines can contain ingredients which, if exposed to the Australian environment, can be extremely harmful. Found it. This is lilium bulb. It's prohibitive for entry to Australia. A, a lilium bulb can carry exotic viruses and bacteria, which can destroy commercial food, plants and flowers. So this one also has citrus peel and safflower in it. Both are prohibited items. So therefore, this is of quarantine concern as well. And now, Officer Denise has just found something that's of even greater concern. And what are these, sir? This man's short stay in Australia could turn out to be quite costly. A massive cargo ship off the coast of Queensland is being searched as officers eliminate every suspicion. I'll just check this one. From the ship's medicinal drug stores to the very bottom of its bilges, no stone can be left unturned. Look, they're absolutely massive and as you can see there's just space everywhere. You've got to look at every nook and cranny because these guys are on board the ship for months at a time. We're just on here for hours. Our work is based on intelligence and risk assessment and because these ships come in and out of Australia we build up a profile on the ships and also we look at the previous ports they've been to and the backgrounds of the crew and all kinds of things are taken into account and uh, then we make our assessment and uh, based on that we decide which areas to search and how thoroughly we're going to search. After four hours searching, customs officers are satisfied that this ship is clean. But with an average of 20 ships to search every single week of the year, their work is far from over. We go. All right, everything fine? A passenger has arrived at Sydney okay. Airport. Officers are concerned that he may be carrying narcotics into the country. How much more money do you owe? 4,000. 4,000, that's to your brother. Yeah. While the body Can search has found nothing, trouble, Officer Mark wants to take the investigation further. Did he give you some spending money? Yeah. How much spending money did he give you? Oh. Your brother. He sent to me up there. He sent to you yeah. in Vietnam? Yeah. How much did he send? I don't know. Oh. You don't know how much he sent you? 1,500. How much money do you have? Vietnam. Uh, you only got $100 left? Yeah. Okay. What did you do with all the money? Yeah. What did Party. You... Party? Yeah. Because I know you didn't spend it at a hotel because you told me you, huh? you, you stayed at your auntie's, your we auntie-in-law's place. Uh, in gate Party. Engagement party. Yeah. Your brother and sisters go to the engagement party? No. No? Your mother? Yeah, no, no. So nobody went to the engagement party? Things just don't seem to be adding up, so Officer Mark has now decided to involve the Australian Federal Police to determine if this passenger should be taken to hospital for an internal exam.
Customs in Melbourne has briefly detained a passenger who is sweating heavily and appears to be in acute pain. Officers are now quickly checking his details and have decided to conduct a frisk search. Right, uh, is there anywhere specific you're concerned, Roscoe? Or... I just guess it's going to say the usual midriff place of benefit. Yeah, right. Uh, no worries. Hi, sir. Yeah, I'm just going to do the frisk search, OK? So just put your arms up. OK, anything in shoes? Can you just, like this? All, all a OK. Yeah. The frisk search comes up negative and Customs is satisfied that there is no reason to delay his journey. At Sydney Quarantine, this man's in hot water after failing to declare bags full of traditional soup mixes and medicines. And Officer Denise has just spotted yet another prohibited item. I'm very concerned about the meat. We don't know how yeah. it's been processed, how it's been cooked, yeah. and different diseases that we don't want to actually come into Australia can oh, be present yeah. in this good. sort of Very meat. Good. But because of the seriousness of yeah. the meat yeah. and the plant material that you've brought in, yeah. and because you didn't declare, okay. today you will be fined for bringing those into the country. Yes. That's okay. $220. Okay, okay, well, I have to pay, I have to pay. <laughs> what we would offer the gentleman today is because he is transiting and he is only here for two days, is that he does have the option where he could pay a $30 fee and will hold the goods until he exits the country. But even if you are here for just a, sh a small amount of time, you still have to completely abide by Australia's quarantine laws. So then it's a matter of that. These definitely cannot leave the airport today. The officer calls the federal police, who will decide if this passenger should go to hospital because Customs suspects he might be carrying drugs internally. I've just rang the AFP just to tell him that we've got a, uh, uh, the gentleman here in the interview room. Um, we do a statement of facts why we think he should be sent for an internal. It doesn't mean he's going to go. Um, I've put down all the intel that I've had on him and, uh, and what we found today. We pass it to them. At the end of the day, it's their decision. If he doesn't go, he doesn't go. OK, uh, I've just rang the federal police. They're going to come down and have a chat to you, OK, about your trip to Vietnam. Uh, I, I, I would like to send you to hospital and make sure you have no drugs inside your, your stomach. Yeah. OK. Did you, did you swallow it? Any reason you're, you're, you're starting to tap? This one, the drum. I learned to play the, the drum. You learned to play the drums? Yeah. OK. What I want you to do is, is read both sides of this card. Read it careful because what you sign here may send you to hospital. Did you want to sign or not? No. You don't want to go? Yes, I go. You go. You don't have to, but you want to. Yes, I go. Once I'm going to stand my ground. Good job! I've been poisoned. I'm getting very high ratings for cocaine. You could kill everybody on board the aircraft. You're making this up as you go along. Engage. I need to know how to help you. Custom helicopter attack. I don't know if I'm making him nervous, but something is. I'm telling the truth. You are not telling me the whole truth. Get away! You let me not go to Australia? You think you might be hiding something in your shoes? That's border security.